We just received the second developer beta for iOS 26. It's fixed a few bugs, but like every beta, it also introduced a couple of new ones. So, what's exciting in iOS 26? Liquid Plus looks better on the iPhone, unlike on iPadOS. They nailed it from day one. The control center looks brilliant, the icons too. And the transparent icons, some look better than others. We'll likely see a wave of icon redesigns from developers this year. If you're a developer, you probably want to make your icons as transparent as you possibly can, just to keep users smiling. The feature has been a problem for Apple Notes though. On the iPhone, a floating toolbar is to the top and bottom edges with a blurry effect, and it feels like your screen has been cut in half, especially when you're typing. And that's something I do a lot, so it's really frustrating. Outside of Apple Notes though, the effect is beautiful. Apple Music in particular looks stunning. Managed calls, new sender screening, and hold assist are genuinely helpful additions. Right now they're limited to FaceTime and messages, but I really hope Apple can open them up to third-party apps like WhatsApp and Telegram. That's when the real magic will happen. Unless you have a bunch of strangers calling you, a hands-on experience with these features takes some time. Kinda just happens naturally. Live translation in messages is another highlight. No more copying and pasting text into another app just to understand what someone said. It's also built into the phone app, which is great. But I do wish there was a way to check for translation accuracy. It's one of those features that only improves itself in everyday use. Apple Music also got a nice touch with lyric translations, something I've personally wanted for a long time. I wish I could get excited about polls and backgrounds in messages. I thought we'd be able to customize the whole app, but instead, each background is tied to a specific contact. That's too much work. I would much prefer a universal background option. We've tried the new polls feature. It works, no complaints, but nothing groundbreaking. Honestly, I expected more from iOS 26. Most of the updates feel minor, just small improvements here and there across different apps. Features like audio recording and conference calls or in-app images in the general apps are nice, but not exactly worth talking about. Compared to the iPad and Mac updates, iOS 26 feels more like a gentle refresh than a full upgrade. What do you guys think about iOS 26? What features are you excited to try? Until next time, fantastic human. Stay fantastic.